In 2010, it was with profound delight that Monte Grappa welcomed the company's longtime friend and supporter, the legendary actor-slash-director-slash-writer Sylvester Stallone, as a former partner. Through his acquisition of an interest in the brand, Mr. Stallone and Montegruppa cemented a relationship that dates back many years. Mr. Stallone is known to millions of moviegoers around the world for his phenomenally successful films, including the Oscar-winning Rocky series, the Rambo films, Daybreak, Copland, The Lords of Flatbush, The Expendables, and over 40 others, created during a career now entering its fifth decade. With his broad interests, including a passion for art, with his seasoned collector's eye, it was a pleasure for Montegrappa to learn in 1995 that Mr. Stallone was an aficionado of Montegrappa Pence. When the occasion arose that year to finalize a major contract, Mr. Stallone felt it appropriate that he signed such a monumental document with his Montegrappa Golden Dragon Fountain Pen. Alas, the pen had been lost. Mr. Stallone turned to Montegrappa to see if it could be replaced. Because the pen, a severely limited present, Mr. Stallone, with an ultra rarity, the unique artist proof of the solid gold version, which he used to place his signature on the contract. Over the years, Mr. Stallone and Mr. Giuseppe Aquila, CEO of Montegrappa, have met on many occasions, including the 2009 Venice Film Festival where Mr. Stallone received an award for his filmmaking. While in Venice, Mr. Aquila invited his friend to La Finis, the city's 220-year-old opera house, where Mr. Stallone was presented with a prototype of the fountain pen honoring La Finis, which was launched this year. In its 99-year existence, Montegrappa has established a reputation as the most noble of pen manufacturers, its writing implements employed by famed authors such as Ernest Hemingway and John Dos Passos, while its ambassadors include the famed racing driver Jean Alessai. Montegrappa, on the eve of its centenary, looks forward to celebrating this milestone in 2012 with the presence of Mr. Sylvester Stallone, whose creative input will manifest itself in future models. It begins with the pen you now hold. You often think, perhaps due to familiarity, that you know someone. Sylvester Stallone has been part of our global consciousness since 1975 when he rewrote cinema history with Rocky. As much an underdog in real life as the film's eponymous hero, Stallone scripted and starred in a motion picture that, seemingly out of nowhere, earned 10 Academy Award nominations and won three, including the most coveted of them all, Best Picture. Stallone is a maverick and an outsider, an actor, a writer, a director, a member of Hollywood's royalty an art collector and successful painter, a connoisseur and bon viveur, motorcycle enthusiast, wristwatch and pen aficionado. Immediately recognizable, genial, resilient, a perennial optimist. You think you know him. Stallone, however, has an introspective, contemplative side. It may be a byproduct of a tough upbringing, of the long struggle to break into films, it does not define him, but it tempers his vision. Melancholic, gloomy, merely fatalistic, whatever adjective applies, he is fascinated with death and with the skull as its symbol. And it is embodied in an elevated awareness of the skull and its function as a motif celebrated in cultures as disparate as Mexico's Santa Muerte, to the Hells Angels motif, to the Hindu Kapalika Bowl. While working on his film, The Expendables, inspired no doubt by the story's sheer violence and mayhem, Stallone mused about death, about the very creation of life itself, as much in mythic as in religious terms. Inevitably, and with his artist's eye, he arrived at the classical notion of chaos, defined as unformed matter, that which preceded the birth of the universe. It is the mystery that has challenged and enthralled every culture, every individual, whether spiritual or secular. For the ancient Greeks, chaos is the original void from which everything else emerged. In Genesis, the first volume of the Old Testament, 
the earliest conditions of the earth were defined as without form and void. Chaos in itself forces meaning onto great confusion of things, of ideas, of feelings. It is the dark sphere where the idea of death dominates. Power, energy, and emotions trigger a positive system that give order to matter and illuminates life. With his muse awakened, Stallone chose to devise a representation of chaos of his own making, in the shape of a most appropriate device that, like chaos, adds form to a blank space. The pen. The words that flow from a writing implement change a plain sheet of paper into a medium for ideas, thoughts, expressions. The letters formed of ink fill the void. Working with Montegrappa's artisans, Stallone's representation of chaos commenced with deliberately desperate elements. The accumulation of matter, the confused undergrowth, the entanglement of streets in a modern metropolis. Ultimately, they chose the latter, which they grasped as emerging from the dark, disturbed by the lights of a frenetic dash of vehicles. Of this entanglement, they created movement of the perennial signs of the struggle between life and death, interpreted by the primordial Saurian, by the reptilian, by snakes and lizards, and by the skull. As Mr. Stallone explained, my idea of chaos is a sense of the Renaissance, when things were simplified and perhaps more noble, placed against our current technological society. Drawing on classical art to help express his idea, to ensure that their use of the language was cultivated and not misused, the Mr. Stallone and Montegrappa's designers turned to the work of 16th century artists, including Battista Franco, Albrecht Dürer, Hans Sebald Baham, and Antonio Pellillo. In deep sculpted relief, they forged the images of chaos and of death, entwined inexorably and eternally. Sylvester Stallone's Chaos Pen features a body fashioned from black pearlized celluloid with overlays in sterling silver or solid 18 karat gold. The overlays are hand finished by Montecropa's skilled craftsmen and featured in antiqued finish with accents in translucent enamel. The predominant black and silver or gold contrast with reds and yellows, the colors of fire. Your Chaos Pen is part of a collection offered as a limited edition of 1,000 fountain pens and 912 rollerballs in sterling silver, the number 1912 representing Montegrappa's date of establishment, plus 100 fountain pens and 100 rollerballs in solid 18 karat gold, and a further 10 fountain pens and 10 rollerballs in solid 18 karat gold and highlighted with precious stones. And although it is not as mighty as the pen itself, the ultimate defining detail, bearing both a fist and a skull, is the pen's pocket clip in the form of a sword. To complement this extraordinary collection, Montegrappa's craftsmen have fashioned a stunning inkwell in rock crystal and sterling silver or solid 18 karat gold. The Chaos Inkwell is available as a limited edition in numbers and materials matching the pens. <laughs> Ridiculous.